It's Christian time! Hey guys, it's Christian from Siena. Today we're going to review the YJ uh, Yuhu V2. So at first impressions, it is a great. I mean, it's nice. It fits in my hands. I even covered the, um, the gray side with black tiles. So we're we'll getting to the turning in a second. So it came with only like instructions. No, this is not unboxing. I wish it was. So here's the other Mega Rigs. This is not mine, it's actually my brother's. Mm, close to it. And by the way, we got both of those cubes from Speed Cube Shop. Yeah, basically Speed Cube Shop, you could get any Rubik's Cube. But not any. But, but, but it is a good shop, right, Christian? Right. So, if you, house. If, you, if you live near Las Vegas or you live in Las Vegas, you can check both of these cubes out at speedcubeshop.com. Yeah. Or you can, or the store on Donovan. You, you can check that out. If you saw us, you know we don't have two fathers, but guess what? Right now, if you looked at me, he, he, you would see me assembling the Final Five, but that's not my brother's. That's actually mine. All right, now let's get into the review. So, so I got this cool YJ logo. Um, I got, oh, I ripped the rest of all the cubes. So, this is actually the world record cube. It feels, it's not too loose. Um. It's nice and flexible. Let's check the corner cutting. So if you go over like this. Wow. It's amazing. All right, the reverse corner cutting. Uh, other way. Yeah, I can't. It could kind of reverse corner cut. And if you don't know what I mean of assembling a father five, I got a father five at Speaker Shop uh, the other day. And I yesterday. know, and, yeah, yesterday. And and I actually know how to assemble it. So, so, so this one's actually dark green side instead of like a light green. That does make sense because here's the, like a lighter green. Here's and here's a here's a um. So the cohedron with the one I'm talking about. Yeah, but but uh, uh, so wait. Yeah, um. So this one's the light green, but if I look over here, I mean they're not the exact same, but it is pretty weird. So so got black tiles. So now the more you've been waiting for attorney. I did turn this oh, yeah. a lot of times. So, so if you don't know, oh Nicholas DIY, my next video should next Nicholas DIY video should be should be assembling a five by five. So this Mega Mix and this Mega Mix, you don't you need force to turn this one. Well, you don't need a lot of force. Let's do a T pin to prove it to you that this is a good Mega Mix. This is cheap. It's like flagship performance. No. Here's a solve on it to prove it to you that this is a good cube. Okay. Because he's anonymous. Oh, yeah, he's cool because he's 
news on any mouse. You may not like what T-Star 7 has to say, but you have to agree that he keeps it real. He's a true hero for our troubled time. Well, I'll just have to make my Krabby Patties better, so T-Star 7 will like them. to say some things about this cube. Okay. Okay. First thing I want to do is see which one actually has the best turning. First, let's do Christian's cube. Not bad. Let's see. Let's see how loose it is. This. This loose. Now let's see my cube. That's a little force when you have to turn it. So, not, well, it's not bad. Except, if you were me, if it was, if it was yesterday, then, then the black side would be smelling because, because you put lotion on it. Yeah. Well, well, because we don't have our lube anymore, and Christian thinks that is it. So, I believe mine takes around like a while to assemble because because rate the cubes what rate the cubes i know i am hmm. but i don't know about this one okay now now let's now let's rate rate the cubes so let's see the colors mine has a more darker color and this one has a more lighter color see difference uh, they, they can. They do have different. Do you have different pieces with it? It is pretty good. They're like almost the exact same version, but mm -hmm. mine just is better for some reason. So I will give Christian's cube a ten out of ten, and also because this is my cube, I give it a ten out of ten too. Now I'm gonna rate the cube. So. So, how fast I could do a T pen? So these are almost the exact same version. So let's see, my cube. Okay, it's two seconds. Now this cube. What the heck? Okay, let's try it again. That one did have a little bit of force to turn. Uh, Okay. So this is the world record cube, and I really like the black plastic that I put on you. Let's see, and since it's mine, it's a nine out of ten. It's actually not nine out of nine point five out of ten. This one you need a little force to turn it. Doesn't in the line properly. It almost doesn't corner cut, and gets stuck like that to uh, eight out of ten. Should you buy the V V2? New V2? Yes. I definitely recommend this cube. It's nice. It's a soft plastic. It turns very good. It's cheap. It's the world record cube. It's not small. It's perfect. But if you don't 
but if you wanna, but if you wanna like, um, if you have smaller hands and you just like can't turn the cube like with these big hands, you could get that diamond V2. There's another great option, but if you only like, if you have small hands, I do recommend it, but only for the people with small hands. So, logo it doesn't really matter. Also, you could. You can buy these from Speed Cube Shop and the Cubicle. They both sell this cube. By the way, hey, this I have never had, had it, but yesterday I got it from SpeedCubeShop.com. Speed Shop. Okay, we'll review that another day, okay, Nicholas? We'll make sure we'll review all our cubes. Anyways, this is Christian signing out. I'll catch you in the next video. Make sure, make sure. Make sure you like and subscribe. And also, and also, and also, well, the, also the next time when I make Nicholas DIY video, I'll um, um, make sure you got your cube ready so I, so I can go. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Catch you in the next video.